stare down. Who's gonna laugh first? No, oh, you broke concentration, you lose. Well, hello, fishing freaks. I think today we're gonna start this episode off right with some good old fashioned American apple pie, which Stephanie made. Do you prefer ice cream on your apple pie? I'm definitely an ice cream guy. Uh, if it's pecan, uh, if it's apple, pretty much any kind of fruit, cobbler, uh, I want vanilla ice cream on it. Not just any ice cream, Bluebell ice cream, which their creamery is very close to where I live. It's about an hour away. So one day I will tour the creamery. I have not yet, but it's made close and it's good. I'm about to go over to the boat and continue taking off the boat wrap. It's been a very slow process. I keep going out in it and I forget. Well, I don't forget. I just don't have time to take it off. So that boat is being sold. And we are getting a new boat. I can't, uh, can't reveal exactly which one yet, but we do have two options on the table, four boats, and we will be getting a new boat on the LFG channel for 2017. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Pretty excited to share with you guys as well. Not everything's finalized yet, so I will let you know when everything goes through. And in the meantime, eat your pie. What are you working on over there? Not very fun, looking at medical terms. You're looking at medical terms? Uh-huh. That doesn't sound fun at all, actually. No, it's not. I mean, I would tell you about it, but there's nothing to tell besides I'm looking at medical terms. Well, you look smart in your glasses. Mm, thanks. All right, what's one of the medical terms? All right, guys. Um, what does IBCLC stand for? I know about IBC root beer. No. <laughs> International Board Certified Lactation Consultant. Lactation consultant? I want to be a lactation consultant when I grow up. That sounds fun. That's awesome. <laughs> but she <you> would. <laughs> By the way, it is no shave November, so I'm attempting to try to grow something on my face. Never had a, uh, never had a beard. Never grown my hair out, like, really at all for more than a week, probably. So, just going for it. I'm not sure what it's going to turn into. I'm pretty sure... It, Feels like a Mark Wahlberg thing is gonna come on. Uh, like a very patchy deal. I don't know, I'm just gonna let her grow. Go grizzly on it. Steph, what do you think? I think you're turning into a true woodsman. A true woodsman? Yeah. I'll take it. I would be a true woodsman in a heartbeat if I could just live out in the woods, you know, hunt squirrels and deer and, and go fishing. What would I do? You could gather berries, <laughs> hunter gatherers. In some ways I'd, I'd dream about that. Like. Do you? In a new world that we live in, in this new age, I'm a modern day woodsman out there catching fish. And you're collecting fruits and recipes for fruits. <laughs> so, definitely. I'll this be is, nesting for our little hut. <laughs> this is modern day hunter gatherers right here, folks. And we even have a uh, spirit animal. <laughs> Winston is my spirit animal. Yeah, he's, well, he's my spirit animal too. He's the family spirit animal. Right? No. <laughs> Just, what you what the heck are you looking at over here, <laughs> dirty girl? I have to research this. What are you researching? Tandem breastfeeding. Tandem breastfeeding. <laughs> All right, it's time for us to leave the house now. See ya. All right, we're gonna head over to the boat right now. So for those that don't know, Stephanie is going through her internship program to become a registered dietitian with the great state of Texas. And she has to travel around to different cities and do different types of work in the dietetics industry. Right now she's working in uh, clinical and hospitals and she's dealing with babies and old sick people and all sorts of stuff. So. Uh, she's studying up on a bunch of different things Having to do with taking care of people, which is good. It's an honorable uh, Profession, I'm happy for her. I'm glad she's doing it and apparently she's uh, learned about uh, women's um, You know things today, and I didn't want you guys to think that she was doing something weird looking at stuff She wasn't supposed to be looking at that ain't that ain't my wife. She's a she's a good old sweetheart, and she just wants to help people. 
This is a very tedious task. Years of memories. Years of trees and hard water and all sorts of lake type stuff are uh, we're coming off right now. It's very sad. Old Red, been a good horse. Your time on this earth has been good with me. Sometimes it's just time for new beginnings. I did discover a nice little uh, little boo boo here. Most of that's just sticky stuff I can get off, but right here, there's a nice little uh, nice little mark there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where that where that happened, but it happened. I'm gonna have to buff on that one for a little while. Just got a text from Outlaw. If you guys don't uh, follow him, uh, I suggest you go subscribe. He's got a really funny video coming out for Thanksgiving, and he just sent me a song. I'd share it with you, but I know it's it's not coming out for another month. He's got two songs. He's been working on the on the songs lately, and uh, he just sent me a funny country song. It's gonna be pretty good, pretty good little beat to it too, uh, coming out here in a little bit. So. He's actually going to be coming down uh, here in a little while, here in a couple weeks, and we're going to be doing some hunting. I know some of y'all have requested uh, that I need to do some hunts, something I need to get back into. So we're going to do a little bit of that. Probably going to do some fishing as well. And the weather has been really mild in Texas so far, so hopefully it'll stay good. Hopefully the... Uh, the deer and the hogs will be running around and the bass will be biting. That's the way I like it. That sounds really good. So you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be some awesome country action. By the way, that jacket right there was sent from Carhartt last minute. Uh, one of the guys that helps out some of the YouTubers sent me a jacket. I was in desperate need. It's freezing cold. I really didn't have anything to handle the cold weather and the rainy conditions so they hooked it up so just wanted to give a shout out to the guys over there um, kept my little Texas butt warm up there in that cold weather and those videos will be coming out this week so still had trout fishing whoa it was very tough guys I've never experienced fishing that rough dang it Seat belts, man. <laughs> he came and jumped on me and wouldn't let me back up. What you doing there, Pooter? <laughs> so I need to tell you guys about my trout trip, which was very interesting. Uh, I want to thank all the subscribers that uh, reached out and left comments about trout fishing and you know where was good and where sucked at the time um, you know a lot of you were leaving comments while I was up there and then actually when I was leaving as well I was only up there for uh, two days that's a whole new ball game up there for sure and uh, it was so difficult so challenging um, and I broke off just about every fish that I had on it was uh, totally uh, it was a frustrating frustratingly beautiful experience if I can uh, I guess that's a good way to narrate it but beautiful streams uh, tons of you know beautiful rock um, just amazing scenery obviously the trout are really cool they're beautiful fish while we were up there they hadn't had any rain and the way these trout work for all you bass guys that are like me and have not done it um, the trout wait on the rains and then they run upstream with the new water and we were basically fishing old fish that had been up there a little while been messed with and you know plucked out and whatnot so whenever they get another rain which they started to get rain when I left uh, it should be on fire up there and we were fishing one of the uh, one of the tributaries coming out of uh, Erie uh, or going into Erie and then um, there was another Indian reservation we fished. Maybe they both went into Erie. I'm not sure. But 
really cool experience. I got both of those videos going up this week, uh, one Tuesday, one Thursday, so you guys can go check that out to see me out of my element completely and see me struggling a little bit, not just with fishing, but with cold and just all new experiences. And I was pretty much the only guy without a beard up there. So uh, I got inspired to try to grow one. It's not, it's not going that good. For those of you that don't have bulldogs or have never owned bulldogs, they are like the best companions to sleep with because they just make you sleepy. They're, they're like those things that you put beside your bed that make the noises and kind of put you to sleep. That's exactly what he is. He's just a giant one of those. But <laughs> the only problem is he's, he makes you unproductive. I'm he? so tired. I just want to sleep. It's like a warm, fuzzy blanket. So we have a we have a lazy bulldog in the family. Sometimes you just gotta wake him up, and you know, because we definitely have a lot more energy than than he does. We're we work a lot more than he plays. Some dogs are just like hyper energetic. All he does is sleep and eat and pass gas. So <laughs> we just have to wake him up sometimes. Get him get him energized. Winston, you want to get up? Hi, bye. Hi, bye. Winston, hey. Hey. Oh. That face like, what? What do you what? want? All right, sun's going down. I'm gonna end the vlog right here, guys, on this nice little evening. But I want to hear from you. What do you want to know about me the most? I know there's a lot of new subscribers on this channel. First of all, thank you for coming on board. And I know a lot of you have not watched many of my older videos and don't exactly know where I've come from or you know who, who I am, really. So. I'm probably going to do some videos over uh, the holidays that kind of highlight some of those things and uh, let you guys know a little bit more about me and kind of my story and um, how I got to where I where I am now making these videos and I'm doing these for you guys so I want to hear from you so leave leave a comment what do you want to learn most uh, about me from me it can be anything from you know fishing life general whatever and i will see you on tomorrow's trout video thanks for watching guys i'll catch you later